Hello everyone, my name is Alex, and today I want to tell you how to properly use Crop D Wallet as a wallet for Ethereum. In this video we'll discuss how to deposit and withdraw Ethereum, and how to borrow against your ETH. I have some ETH on my account on Bybit Exchange, and I will show all transactions with this exchange. So, to fund your Crop D Wallet with ETH tokens the first thing you need to do is to get a funding address. To do this in Crop D Wallet click Receive. Choose Ethereum coin. You can find it in the list, or use the search, for example, right here ETH. Now you need to choose the network through which we will transfer. There are two networks available for ETH, Native and Binance Smart Chain. In BSC network the commission is lower than an ETH network, that's why I will use it for recording this video. Choose BSC and get the address to which we need to transfer funds. Copy this address by clicking on the copy button and go to the Bybit exchange. Here we choose ETH, click withdraw, specify our copied address and network Binance Smart Chain. Please note that it is absolutely necessary to choose the network for which you got the address in the Crop D interface. If you transfer through the wrong network, your funds will be lost. Now we need to specify the amount, just click on max and send our ETH by clicking on the withdraw button. All that remains is to confirm the transfer. That's it. The transfer request has been sent. Let's return to the Crop D interface. Let's check if we have received funds by pulling the screen down. So, we have received our ETH. Now we can use it for different purposes, for example, send it to another Crop D user, our friend, for free and without commissions. Or we can take a loan against our Ethereum tokens. To do this, let's go to the Features tab, select Loan. As you can see, I actively use the crypto lending feature on Cropti. It allows me to unlock my funds for certain life situations. Let's click on the borrow button, select ETH as collateral and see what maximum loan amount the system will offer us. It is 138.5 USDT. Let's borrow it. Now we need to confirm the operation with a one-time code. Success. The borrowed funds are credited to my balance. Let's check. So, we see 138.5 USDT on our wallet balance. Now we can use them as we wish, or pay off the debt to take back our ETH. Let's go back to the Loan tab, select our active loan and click Repay. Crop these flexible loans can be repaid at any time. Specify the full loan amount and confirm repayment with a one-time code. Success! Our loan is repaid. Let's go back to the main page of our wallet and we can see that our ETH has returned to our balance in full. Now let's understand how to withdraw ETH from Cropty Wallet. To do this, let's go to the Bybit interface again and get the address for funding via Binance Smart Chain. Click Assets, Funding, Deposit Crypto, ETH, BSC, BP20, and get the address for transfer. Copy it and go back to Cropty Wallet. Here we select our Ethereum, click Send via Crypto Network. Be sure to select the correct network, in our case it is Binance Smart Chain, BP20, and specify our address for the transfer. We will transfer the whole amount, so click on the max button. In this case the system will transfer all our money, and the commission will be automatically deducted from the transfer amount. If you need to transfer a specific amount, you can uncheck the checkbox from deducting the transfer amount and specify the exact amount you want to transfer, for example 0.05 ETH then the recipient will receive exactly this amount, and the commission will be deducted from you separately. But we are interested in withdrawing all the funds, so let's click Max again. Now just click Send, check all the data once again. Wallet Address, Amount, Transfer Network, and confirm the transfer with a one-time code. Success! Our withdrawal request has been sent. As we can see, now it is in the queue for sending. Let's wait until it is our turn and the transaction is sent. After refreshing the screen, we can see that our transaction has been sent and the transaction hash has appeared. Now let's wait for it to be validated by the blockchain. This usually takes 1 to 2 minutes. That's it. We can see that the transaction has been successfully completed. We can click on the info button and view the transaction in the BSC Scan Blockchain Explorer. Thanks for watching the video. I hope the information in it was helpful. Ask your questions in the comments and subscribe to our channel to not miss new videos. Goodbye.